With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Today our question is, find the mean and standard deviation of the given data using the shortcut method. So the shortcut method is the, that is um, using the assumed mean method, right? So let's solve this equation. First of all, let me write the data in the tabular form. So first of all, I need xi, then the column of fi, then the column of yi, yi is the deviation about assumed mean that is xi minus assumed mean divided by h where a is the assumed mean and h is the class size. Next we need to calculate the value of fi into yi. Next, after this, after calculation of mean, I need to find the value of the standard deviation. So, we need yi square, then fi into yi square. So, let me draw the line so that we can calculate accordingly, properly. So let's start. Now let me write the given observations. The observation given us to us are that is 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67 and the last observation is 68. Right. So let's the, write the corresponding frequency to 1. 12, 29, 25, 12, 10, 4 and 5. So we need to find the sum of the frequency that will be equal to summation F5. So that is equals to 100. Now let's move on. Here the value of A that is we have taken assume the mean from the given observation that is let A is equals to 64 and the value of H that is equals to 1 because the class size is difference is 1. So let's move and calculate the value of yi that is xi minus assumed mean upon h that is 60 minus 64 so that will be equals to minus 4 next minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 this will become 0 1 2 3 and 4 so as we can see same the sum will be, be 0 because the magnitude of positive as well as negative is coming out to be same so after that i need to calculate the value of fi into yi right so minus of 8, minus 8, minus 3, minus 8, minus 3, minus 24, minus 29, 0 and next is 12, 20, 12, 20. So we, if we add this, the sum is same that will be come out to be 0. Next for the calculation of standard deviation, I need to square the value of yi that is 16, 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16. So next move, uh, multiply yi square with fi. So I will be getting 32 into 9. 48, 29, 0, 12, 40, 36, 80. So we need to find the sum of this that is fi yi square summation that will be equal to 286. So now, now let us calculate the value of the mean by applying the formula that is mean x bar is equals to the formula to find the mean for the shortcut method is assume mean plus h that is the class size or the class difference that is summation fi yi upon divided by summation fi so that the value is equals to assume mean we have taken that is 64 h is 1 and summation of fi yi was initially that was 0 so here we can see that the assumed mean method by assumed mean method the value of mean that is equals to 64 now let us apply the formula to calculate the value of the standard deviation so the formula to find that standard deviation that is equals to 
standard deviation is equals to the formula the standard deviation is noted by sigma so the formula to calculate the standard deviation is that is h upon n n is the sum of frequency square root of square root of n into summation of f i y i square f i y i square minus summation of f i y i f i y i whole square so let's put the values inside so it will become as the value of h is 1 and n is 100 and the value of n as it is 100 and summation of f i y i square f i y i square that is equals to 286 286 and this value is 0 so we have to just calculate the value of 100 into 286 square root divided by 100 so the value will be equals to that is 169.11 divided by 100 so the value of the standard deviation will be equals to 1.69 so this is the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today